Audi. We can tell those people are using uh, walkie-talkies used to have a kind like those uh, that had the bloop sound after the end of each transmission and the call sound. Uh, right after the person did the call sound, you couldn't see it, but it said TX there. It's just the call button. Mine is a little bit different. Uh, in case you're wondering, mine is a Midland F20. And so there's Channel 2, which seems to be a bunch of, uh, I don't know why, I'm calling them walkie-talkie weirdos. I shouldn't call them that, but I am. And Channel 1 seems to be for an org uh, company, because they're talking about, like, gravel and stuff. And I'm assuming it's a landscaping company, and there is one local one just down the road, so. I probably shouldn't do this, but let's attempt and see if I can call them. Hello, is anybody on this channel over? I assume this button right here is an anti-squelch button because when I press and hold on somebody's talking, if it gets too weak, I can still hear them and it doesn't mute. Are those click sounds oh look I think a wedding I shouldn't be watching but I guess that's what happens when they build your house right next to an event center so far nothing yet I'm gonna keep monitoring and then I'll cut back when I find something I just heard a transmission cut on channel one switching to my other walkie-talkie other Midland F20 monitoring both frequencies. I'm bringing the other one in as well, just for the heck of it. Oh, there's one. Why are they on channel one now? That's my question. If they are. I don't know much about UHF. I know these go from like 467 to something or something like that. They're in the 460 megahertz range. These go from channel 1 to 14. But can anybody tell me, does e-skip happen? I don't think it happens that high, but can it happen? Let me know in the comments, please. back again and see if they talk. <laughs> Not gonna lie, that sounds like something I would do on the walkie-talkie. Let's see if I can talk to them again, just for the fun of it. Hello? 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 I don't know how far this can receive. I know it can transmit up to two miles. Hello? 
Hello, hello, hello. Howdy. I don't know the people were using walkies again. I was using the same bloop noise for channel one because the other one, first of all, they're talking about landscaping stuff like gravel or whatever. Uh, but when they ended transmission, it kind of just did an abru abrupt click sound like you're like I'm about to demonstrate with this other walkie talkie. Hi there. Am I coming in pretty good? Over. See how mine goes into an abrupt click. Mine doesn't do a boop at the end of the sound. Mine just does a abrupt. I'm assuming as the transmission cuts, the squelch is enabled. And that's what my uh, call sound sounds like. So let me get off the walkie-talkie and I'll come back over. I have one monitor channel channel two and all of the other one monitor monitor channel one. Also the town I'm in, I'm on the edge east side, so I'm assuming this is coming from in town. Which wouldn't surprise me.